came here down to protest uh, the NATO summit um, I'm part of with a small group, Occupy Mankato, up where I live in Mankato, Minnesota. Um, well, we were part of uh, the large march that happened today. Uh, a group of soldiers from Veterans for Peace uh, came and uh, they went to as close as sort of they could get to the NATO summit um, and gave back their medals, um, saying that they weren't going to take part in the wars anymore. Um, we were part of, I was part of an anti-capitalist contingent um, of that. Uh, when the march ended, um, we decided that we were going to try to head east. Um, cops, um, who were then sort of barricading that direction, um, started pushing people back, um, you know, telling people go back, go back, uh, repeatedly. Um, it was kind of around that time. Um, there were some people who were kind of getting hit up in the front, and they sort of started filtering out, and then I kind of got closer and closer, and, um... At one point, this girl fell down, uh, and they started, they were repeatedly beating her on, there was several cops beating her on the legs and on the body, um, while others were still saying, get, get back, get back, and she was yelling, no, I can't, I can't, I can't get up, uh, let me get up, um, and there was some people who were trying to get her, uh, to get her up, but they were kind of being pushed back as well, um, one man eventually bent down to try to grab her, he got hit on the back of the head, uh, he kind of went down at that point, he started bleeding, um, from the back of the head. Um, then I was kind of, with the pressure that was behind me, I kind of was almost on my knees um, at that point, and I sort of tried to reach towards the girl, and it was at that point an officer took his billy club uh, and sort of swung it uh, right into my teeth, like with the pointy end of the back, um, and then that was right in here. You can see oh. the roundness of where they hit. Um, and so, yeah, at that point, um, I kind of felt this numbness in my mouth, um, you know, I was like, okay, I got hit in the mouth, it's kind of, it didn't hurt too much, I was, it was sort of like stunned, um, and then I sort of, sort of started feeling the pieces of teeth in the back of my mouth, I'm like, oh, those are pieces of something, alright, and it was at that point, I was starting to think, you know, maybe I should get out of here, um, and then I started to sort of head back, and I also saw that the man who got hit in the back of the head when I was leaving, I, I kind of tried to at least help get him up too, I'm not sure if I helped that much or not, um, but we both got out of there. Um, he started heading, some, some people started, we started yelling medic, both of us, uh, as then other people did. Uh, and then they, someone grabbed him and they started escorting him through the march and they sort of made um, some room for him to go there. And then I went after him and I was like, I need to go to this too. Um, we ended up both in front of the Papa John's, in front of some barricades down there, um, waiting. And then eventually medics came. I had to mainly focus on him since I, was, I felt fine. Uh, I just had my teeth in my hand. <laughs> You want to see him? Show yeah. The camera so that yeah, let's see. Um, I put them in a shot of milk because milk's supposed to be what's best, so I'll just. Oh, let's see. Could have just <laughs> left, left them there. <laughs> yeah. All right. There they are. <laughs> look! Look at that. So. Smile! Yep. Smile for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do next? Um, I'm about to go, my friends are about to drop me off uh, to Northwestern Hospital where I'm going to get this taken care of. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to continue my week of protest, uh, the end of this week of protesting. Uh, and then hopefully with the help of some of the lawyers' guilds, uh, sue the city of Chicago. I feel like it was completely unnecessary. Um, like none of, uh, of us were armed. Um, you know, I was actually, I wasn't even like, because there got to the point where there weren't people in front of me. And I was like kind of between like the police and myself and I was like, eh, I don't really want to get that close, but I'm also like, but I can't, like, I'm right here, I can't avoid the inevitable. And I, they shoved me back once and I'm like, okay, that wasn't so bad. And then this girl's down and I'm like, I, okay, like, you know, I'll try to like get to her and help her up. And like, I wasn't even like going at them. Like I was, I had nothing armed. I was not going at them. I was trying to get to this girl. I was already practically on my knees when they hit me. So I felt like it was, not, it was entirely unnecessary if they wanted people to back up. Uh, you know, hitting me in the mouth like I guess I did back up, but the oh, fuck, like, it's <laughs> not the way to go about it. <laughs>